relief carvings depict pretty much the entire Egyptian gold working process from start all the way to finish. So the first step is recorded here, and this involves the weighing of the gold. And you know, what I find interesting about that is, of course, the Egyptians had plentiful quantities of gold, and yet still it was so valuable that the pharaoh didn't want even a single little bit unaccounted for. But the two most remarkable images, I think, in this entire relief are these two here. And I think they're remarkable for two reasons. First, the hieroglyphs. You can see there and there. Now, usually we presume ancient hieroglyphs to impart some solemn wisdom, but not these ones, because this man is saying to that man, ooh, isn't this beautiful? And this man is saying to that guy, get a move on with your work, slow coach. Uh, it's just an amazing moment, amazing moment of humour and life and reality from thousands of years ago. But the other remarkable thing about these images here is all four goldsmiths are dwarfs. All across ancient Egypt, dwarfs are depicted as gold workers because they were actually perceived by ancient Egyptians as possessing magical powers. So it seems utterly logical that who would you get to work with your most precious and special material? You would get your most precious and special people. For millennia, the great creations of these goldsmiths were mostly lost to view.